All right, so uh, this is... All right, so I wanted to show you how to use flag uh, as a format to export and actually also import uh, back and forth uh, tracks from 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 a, from a, from a, from a All right, so I wanted to show you how to export and also import back and forth tracks uh, from a music track that you are working on so and using a special format usually we do it using wave which is known to be non-destructive format so that we can keep all of the quality but we can also using it uh, doing that with another format which is called flag and flag has the same advantage as wave meaning that you are not going to lose any quality and uh, the, the export and the import is guaranteed to be exactly the same bit copy the same um, but in addition to compared to, to to wave the advantage is that you're going to reduce greatly the size of the file so it's, it's just so much easier to exchange files with with the uh, the, the musicians that you're working with so um, in this uh, setup here I have a project that is uh, recorded in 48 kilohertz and 24 bits which is perfect for uh, for uh, mastering and uh, so I want to export each of the uh, tracks there so let's say I want to export that particular one just going to solo it for now just make sure that in Cubase uh, you have the uh, left and the right locator uh, set properly so at this moment the right locator is set a little bit behind at the very end of the track making sure I get all kind of uh, echoes and and delays that may be included in, the, uh, in there and you do file export audio mix down and there uh, you are going to type here the name of the uh, the track so just name it whatever you want and choose the path that you want to use to export all of those uh, tracks uh, but what is really the most important there is to choose flag file as a format so you can also export to mpeg3 or wav file there uh, but what we really want to do is use flag which is again a non-destructive format for the compression you level uh, you can choose 8 which is going to be the slowest um, it's going to take the most time to do the uh, the compression but you don't really care it's not going to change the, the, the quality so it's better to have smaller files anyway uh, make sure that you have the sample rate and the bit depth of your actual original project so here I choose 48 kilohertz as well as 24 bits which is the uh, the my my the settings of my project originally uh, other than that there is nothing really to to say there uh, what i do usually is that i use for each track um, the name of the uh, of the instrument so here it's it's an arpeggiator and just going to do the export yeah, I'm using a, a virus TI, so it complains that uh, the TI cannot export, uh, uh, I would say, in accelerated mode, but I'm just going to ignore that for now because I'm not exporting the track of the TI. So this is going to do the export, and this is going to do that um, using the flag format. And you see the file here. And once the export is done, you will see at this moment it's uh, zero as a size. But once the export is done, there we go. And you see 23 megabytes. And just for the uh, sake of the demo there, I'm just going to do the exact same thing, but export using the usually used wave format. So same thing, 48 kilohertz and 24 bits. Just do the export. And we'll see what is the size uh, to compare with. So expect the the file size uh, for the wave to be much bigger. Uh, we, are, we are looking here at uh, three times or a little bit less than three times uh, the, the the size, which is really significant if you send that uh, through a DSL uh, to exchange the files. But I think the 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 best thing is also that you can do the the other way around. So uh, not only you can export the web files, but let's say I want to uh, re-import the, 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 the tracks and uh, you just have to add an audio track here. 
keybase just add one there just uh, scroll it right at the bottom and the only thing I need to do to import my uh, flag file is uh, to actually go at the beginning of this track and drag and drop the flag file so Cubase is just going to ask you if you want to copy the file to the working directory you are going to say yes and it's importing it and uh, as it's building the, uh, the, 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 the waveform but you see that the waveform actually corresponds perfectly to the uh, to the original and I guarantee you this uh, format uh, has not restricted any kind of has not made any kind of compression so it's uh, really a bit by bit copy just the biggest advantage is that by using flag as a format you actually reduce the size of the file exchanges all right thanks for watching